Well, I think there is much more of a emphasis now on, on a totality of stakeholders that did not exist in organizations before. Um, I think that is a sea change. You know, there were the days of Milton Friedman, which is the role of the corporation is to produce a profit, full stop. Mm. And in one sense, in a capitalist, you know, market-driven economy, that's it. That is the purpose of the corporation. Yeah. There is now a much broader sense that um, there is a responsibility on the part of, of organizations that does go beyond a profit, and I buy that. There's also a counter movement, at least in the US, a uh, very famous investor who wanted to start a fund, and it was to back organizations and other funds where, where it was just the avowed, we're out to make a profit, and the government and society is going to take care of the rest, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of any environmental impacts. But generally speaking, I think there is a much bigger arc among organizations to understand that they have responsibility in the world. Um, and if you buy that, then that flows into a lot of things. That, for example, a generation ago, it was news, but not exactly remarkable if you fired half of your workforce in a day without notice. Mm -hmm. you now, in the book, we wrote about a famous guy named Chingsaw Al, mm -hmm. Al Dunlap, who did that. Um, that was his recipe for turnaround and didn't end well. Um, uh, but there's much more of a sense of accountability, I think, now. And I think that's a good thing. Hey.